So, on our way to the next town, basically for the after parts of the game. How it works is, the way they tell you what to do next is by sending you emails. But because I already know what to do, I'm not just going to wait on the emails, but I will still show them. Like, look. We've been hearing about Shadow Pokemon for people visiting the Under from Pyrite. A lot of the visitors have seen the Shadow Pokemon. Net and the Under should have more information for you. That's how they do things. You go from town to town, and they'll send you emails to do... to tell you what to do next. And I know that's kind of cruddy, but... Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, that's the way this latter part of the game works, but it's not bad. It's not the best thing either, but uh, because I already know where to go, I'm not gonna <laughs> go around town to town waiting for these things. I'll just go right here, right to the place they tell you before they even tell you, you know? So, might as well do that. But um, now that I think about it, I mean, if you're really, really up to it, you can purify Crokino and... When you catch Quillava, let's say you didn't start off with Bayleaf and you, okay, vice versa, you do, you catch Bayleaf now and Crokinole or Bayleaf and Quillava, you know, it, it's, you could potentially have all three starters on your team, and that's, you know, that's never been done before, and that's pretty cool, I mean, I actually know that has, Pokemon Yellow, what am I talking about, but it, it kind of works in the same fashion too, you know, you want to catch them, if you catch them now, they're level 30, so you have to train them all the way up to your team. If you're willing to do that, go right ahead. I mean, there's no stopping you. They're good Pokemon. Don't... Never mis mistake a starter Pokemon. They're always one of the greatest. So, I mean, you got three starters in the game for you. You might as well take advantage if you really want to. But I, personally, I'm not going to train them from 30 to 60. That'll take too long, in my opinion. You can go to Mount Battle and battle like crazy, but honestly, that's just not up for... That's just not going to happen. I, <laughs> I am not down for that. Because not only do you have to purify them, but then you have to train them too. That just... Oh, that'll take too long. Yeah. But if you're up for it, I mean, why not? You got three starters on your team? That would just be insane. But remember, Grix? Look at that. He has two Waylords now. Remember when I said that he'd be good experience? Well, this is what I meant. Waylords are always, are always good experience. They're extremely weak, but... Look at this power. Look at this power. Mega Horn! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is extreme power, like honestly. And trying to Taurus Thunder for the meantime, but still. Look at that power! That is just amazing. Megahorn did that much to a regular Waylord, like holy crap! I mean, Waylords aren't the sturdiest Pokemon ever, but still. Like, damn, son. <laughs> they still did that much damage, like oh my god. I mean, Waylord has a lot of HP, so... My god, <laughs> it's quite surprising, is it just, that's how strong Heracross's Mega Horn is, it's just too deadly. Unfortunately, Tyranitar, if he had Rock Slide working for him, like say, because Rock Slide hits both opponents, right? So the problem with that is the power gets weakened, but it's still strong considering it, it's Tyranitar, right? But, man, if only he had Stone Edge from, from Generation 4, oh god, Tyranitar is a wrecking crew. One man wrecking crew. He just is like, holy crap. But still, I mean, Rock Slide isn't the worst thing, but since it hits multiple opponents, it's not going to be of much use to you in this game, but it's still pretty damn powerful, so that's why I'm not getting rid of it. And if you're wondering why I have Crunch for it as well, because as you all know, dark types in this game are considered special and not offensive, which is extremely strange, but what can you do? Um, you moving, you, Kiori, good lord! <laughs> just stood right in my path. What are you doing? <laughs> but, um, you know, although it, it's a special attack, I mean, he's still got great special attack, even though he's not a special attacker. That's just why, his, that's just why he's considered a pseudo-legendary, because he's just so damn powerful. All of his stats are good, except for his speed stat, but it's still not below average. It's not the worst thing in the world. He's actually quite fast for a rock type. Usually rock types are really slow and bulky, well, he's actually a decent speed and bulky, so I mean, the only thing with, with Tyranitar that kind of sucks is that fighting weakness, that times four fighting fighting weakness, but other than that, he's really not that bad. I, I like him a lot. I mean, he just took a full-out Hydro Pump from a Waylord and survived. I mean, that's pretty damn good, <laughs> considering. So, I mean, he's, he's a really good Pokemon. He's considered a pseudo-legendary for a reason. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited because I've never used one. The only... Actually, well, I have used a Garchomp at one point, but that was very... And that was just 
that, I think that was my first time, and that was for my uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. But I never used uh, Pokemon that are considered pseudo legendary. They have to have like they're normal Pokemon, but they have legendary stats. And Pokemon that are considered pseudo legendary are Dragonite, Salamence. Um, who else? Oh, right, Tyranitar, and then Metagross, and uh, a, fur a future Pokemon. Uh, future Pokemon named Garchomp and Hydreigon. These guys are considered pseudo legendaries. And, you know, what's interesting is I haven't used Salamence ever. And that's the funny thing because of out, uh, out of the many times I've played Pokemon XD, I've never used him. It's, it's really weird. And, po and he's actually in Pokemon XD. And that is just <laughs> having a Salamence on your team. Let's just say, oh man, that thing tears things up. Like, oh my god. It is incredibly surprising how strong that thing is. I've never used one, but um, other than the Guard Chomp, I've never used a pseudo legendary for these games. So, you know, it's my first time getting to, so why not take advantage of it? <laughs> Here in this building, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't want it. I'm gonna skip through a lot of this. I'll, I'll just show you what these this one fight is. This is how a couple of them are. What's gonna happen is, as you're going uh, to face Rosso, you'll get about five or six Cypher Peons like these. And this is, uh, again, what I meant by if you lost Shadow Pokemon to these Cypher Peons, they'll also be here for you. So there are about five or six of them in a row, and they appear out of nowhere, and you are forced to fight fight them. So, I mean, I'm not going to show every fight, and what I'll do instead is just... I'm just going to skip right after this all the way down to the part where you meet Rosso. So... Because there's no point in me just cutting here and then do walking a few steps and then cutting there and then walking a few steps and then cutting again so I mean there's no point but you see look at that rock slide I mean it's still pretty strong I mean and look at that one hit KO on Sneasel and it's a and it would attack both people so I mean it's a it's a pretty good it's a still pretty strong considering it's Tyranitar but uh, you know it just I'm um, after this fight I'm just gonna cut right to the part where you meet Rosso because there's just no point in showing all of that and just cut and then oh I walk a few steps and then another cut so really no sense in that because we've already been here before and we've seen this so I really there's nothing new to show it's all the same and you want to break a breaker this Nuzleaf I don't know why I like saying that it just, it just rolls off the tongue <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be offensive to anybody but who knows <laughs> it just rolls off the tongue for me. Oh well, scary face. And he reduces my speed, not bad. But a thunder should take care of you, and of course not. I just wanted to overkill, but oh well, that's okay. I've heard that with Tyranitar, I believe some of its stats are raised in the Sandstorm, which if it is, that's damn good. I've heard that its special defense or defenses are raised, so I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> Considering it's already pretty bulky, and then having it raised in the Sandstorm, which it already... <laughs> has one as it comes out, that's all the more reason to like Tyranitar. <laughs> I don't know if that's activated during this generation or the next, that's what I'm not sure of, but oh no, I guess we'll find out. And I'm gonna cut real quick, so hold on in just a second. Because we'll be right back after we just run into this girl right around here, I think. Yep, there she is. Alright guys, so we just cleared out the five or six trainers along the way, and we're gonna meet Rosso right here. Ah, the data's not here either. How are we supposed to make more Shadow Pokemon with it? Ah, how did you sneak up on me like that? Huh? Don't I know you from somewhere? Like at the mayor's home in Fennac? You've been spoiling Cypher's plans all over, haven't you? You're not gonna mess any my plan up. So he's trying to carry out the work of Cypher Admin Ian. I see what you're doing, Rosso. And you're going to be the last to stop being color-coordinated with your Pokemon. I will put an end to it once and for all. Ah, <laughs> What's funny is, although he's in red, he doesn't have fire types except for his shadow Pokemon. I mean, he has a Grumpig, for God's sake, so what the heck? <laughs> it's like, what is this man doing? He's not color coordinating all the way, unlike the next guys in the next game. <laughs> and Sandstorm, it affects... It doesn't affect rock types, ground types, and steel types. And it doesn't affect Cacturn. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Rock types, Steel types, Ground types, and Cacturn. Cacturn's the one exception. So, it doesn't affect those guys, but every other, every other Pokemon, it does. 
So, I mean, it's a very... It's an annoying move. Because <laughs> it hits you, so, I mean, it just... Oh. I mean, Hail's worse. Hail, it just... Only ice types are resistant to that. They won't take any damage. Otherwise, every other Pokemon will. So, I mean, that's that's even worse. And so there goes his Grumpig. What's next? And it's a Breloom. All right, the Psychic should finish that off. And I'll probably just do Crunch on whoever comes next. Flame Wheel. Ooh, that's a super effective move. But unfortunately, you're way underleveled. <laughs> you're not going to stand up to a pseudo legendary like that. Uh. Good. And it does a little damage to Qualiver. This is also a kind of little strategy I've been doing just to make these catches a little easier. Just so that Sandstorm is slowly taking away damage because it's not going to use Shadow Rush all that much. So I might as well. And Metagross hit! Yes! Metagross! <coughs> Good man. Good man. Alright, who's next? Who is next? And it is... A Muck! Hmm. Okay, all Metagross has to do is hit with one Psychic, because Crunch is going to do a lot of damage. It's funny the animation for Tyranitar's Crunch. Technically, he's biting him, but then he shakes his his paws at him. He's just like, hey I'm going to bite you now. <laughs> I don't know, I always found that kind of funny. The animations in here, the fighting animations, are really cool. Although, yeah, there are some weird ones like that. They're cool for the most part, and I'm gonna hope that they don't attack Flappy. I don't think they will, but here's hoping, you know? <laughs> Just gonna try to get in there and paralyze him, and Metagross hit! Damn it! Oh no, that's not good. Metagross, you, you failed me, your X powers failed me. No, no, oh, he definitely attacked Tarnatar with that. Oh, I'm sorry, Flappy. Damn, I just sent him in there to die. That is... Damn it, I'm very sorry, Flappy, I'm very sorry. That's okay. But, <laughs> oh man, that sucks. I sent him in there to die. Great, great job, me. Great job. Alright, let's get him back out here. Let's actually see if Kolava went for flat uh, for Tarantar here. And he didn't! Okay, so if Metagross had done his job, Flappy wouldn't be dead. Yeah, thank you very much, Metagross. Stupid. The good thing is, I don't have to deal with any more low level Shadow Pokemon like this for a while. In fact, actually, what's really funny is the last Shadow Pokemon to obtain in this game is actually level 20. Yeah, I know, eh? That's just so messed up. But, yeah, that's how it goes. It's kind of weird why, how they did that, but I guess it's anticlimactic. <laughs> They're just like, oh, it's the last Shadow Pokemon in the game. Guess what? It's level 20, just like Regigigas. Oh my god, it's the fourth Reggie! But it's level one! <laughs> oh, it's always funny how the Pokemon Company operates. Do it! You fool! Why do you keep failing me like that? Oh well. Uh-oh, it's a brick break! No, stop! Oh, there goes Tornitar. Oh well, he lasted long enough. That's okay. But as I was saying about the animations, like the fighting animations, this is cool. I mean, the only other game that you got 3D fighting animations was Pokemon Stadium. And that really wasn't a Pokemon game. It was just, I mean, it was just you rented Pokemon and you made your own team and then fought. But it, it, it wasn't like an adventure game like this, like an adventure RPG, you know what I'm saying? Like the regular Pokemon games. Like this is a regular Pokemon game, but except it's not as traditional, you know? But uh, Pokemon Stadium is more... Like, you just rent Pokemon, and then you fight, and it's not, not that great, but this is, the, like, the first time you really get to see them, and it, it's cool. I like the 3D animations. They're very nice, like, seeing the Pokemon attack each other, like, the only other time you see this in the future is, I guess, Battle Generation? I don't know what that game is called. What, what is it? You know that one that links up with their Diamond Team, and then, I don't even know, but, Battle Dimension, I think it is, but still, it's, uh... You don't see it often, and it's pretty cool to see them, like, when you actually see a Pokemon go up to you and then punch. I mean, that's... it's, it's kind of lifelike, you know? <laughs> so I like that. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're done with, um, this place, and we're not going to be coming back here. With Snagum Hideout, I didn't actually do everything, and, uh, I didn't talk about this earlier, but you will visit Snagum Hideout again. In fact, that's where we're going next. And, um... Because I was going back there, I didn't pick up everything. I was going to do it on the second time around, so... My apologies, I didn't mention that, but oh well. Oh, look, it's a PDA message. Let's answer it. Let's see who it's from. I bet you it's telling you that... Oh, look, you gotta go to back to the place. 
Wesley, did you know your PDA can receive not only email, it could also accept digital photos. I send one as, as a test. Hope it reaches you. And it's of Meg and her shroomish. How nice. Okay, so we're just going to head on out to the next town and <laughs> get our next email again. I'm going to go quickly heal because these guys are really weakened and they need to be healed. <laughs> Honestly, those string of five were just so annoying to get through. My goodness. Hey, look, this is the other one probably telling you that. Oh my god, go to Team Snagum's hideout. Hey, this is Bit from the Under. There's this freaky rumor going around that Snagum holdouts fixed a big snag machine. Do you think it's true? Can you look into it too, Wesley? Alright, I'm going to quickly cut here and then meet you guys at the Snagum hideout. So see you guys in just a moment as I go heal. Alright, here we are at the Team Snagum hideout where we get another message, and what is it this time, man? Stop bothering me! Alright, this bit in the under. Got some more news about those Snagum holdouts. There's rumor now about a creepy smear going Ursaring. I think it's worth checking out. Well, he's not lying about that. You actually do want to go check that out, because those are the last two remaining Shadow Pokemon to get before you have to go get those other ones that take a really long time. Hey, look, it's Scrub! Too bad, Scrub, you're done. I don't want to go back there and heal, so I'm going to quickly... I guess heal right here because scrub was annoying and I got a lot of bad luck. But, um, uh, uh, what? <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little coarse right now. Doing a lot of talking. <laughs> what? Must go on. I guess I'll sub in Perry. Perry's kind of close, actually. He's been kind of close for a long time. I've kind of neglected him. My fault, Perry. But don't worry, I'll get back to you. <laughs> Okay, so now the parts where you have to go here is actually where you met Bluno the first time. That's where. Oh, do I have to fight her? Okay, can I go around, please? Please! Maybe, maybe so. Come on. No, no, I can't go there. Oh, crap, I have to fight her. No, I don't want to do it. Uh, you know what? Maybe. Let me try going somewhere else. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back down. Because I want to go get that other item that's over there. I'll probably. I don't know. I'm indecisive right now. <laughs> But uh, maybe let's go down here and then get the item. Or can we go around? I don't know. I don't want to face that girl. I maybe have to. Because uh, this is another point. You know those guys that you were fighting? Uh, and oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to bother with this yet. Remember those guys you were fighting that um, <clears throat> uh, when you were trying to race to get to Venus? Like, remember when you, f you fought her off and then she ran away? These are the same guys, so... Very quickly, after I just dispatched her, um, they're gonna appear here, and they're gonna appear. One of them's gonna appear here, and one of them's gonna appear downstairs, and you get to keep fighting them. So if you missed out on any of those, which my Stantler is around here somewhere, uh, then by all means, this is where they are. And I think there's another one. Yep, look, it's the crying girl again. But I don't want to. Do I have to face her? Oh darn it! Don't lock eyes with me. And she ended up crying again. What do you know? How? <laughs> that wasn't much of a surprise, was was that now? Oh, man. All right. So the main reason you want to come is if you go down here, you actually get to fight this guy. Yo, if it isn't Wesley, you got guts showing up here after betraying Team Snagum. This is where it ends. I know you're here to wreck the Snag Machine like before. 